Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello, Mr. Lakachinda. Anything you have to say on the coach ruling? Well, the matter is still on, so we can't really comment. Mm. But I do have uh, uh, something to say with uh, a clear uh, attempt, if not already executed, uh, planned by this government to start feeding us with GMO meds. They keep on giving contradictory statements. First of all, in this country, there is a law forbidding not only the importation, but also just trans having GMO products transit through this particular this country. And if at all a decision by government is to be made to that effect, there is need to have a public hearing and an inquiry to that effect. There is also supposed to be professional analysis of those products. So far, there hasn't been any inquiry, any public hearing, any professional analysis of the GMO maize that government wants to start, you know, importing. They have stated that they want to import on behalf of BRC. What makes this government think that uh, they have the monopoly of wisdom systems that is superior to that of DRC that they would want to start, a, you know, uh, wasting their energy, resource, and all the mechanisms that are required for the importation of GMO on behalf of DRC. Your people in Zambia are hungry. There is shortage for of maize, shortage of minimum. Then you come and make a public pronouncement. No, we have decided to start importing maize on behalf of DRC. What kind of madness is that? We expect this government to apply itself towards making sure that the food shortages, the high cost of living, is mitigated for the ordinary person out there. People are no longer having one meal a day. They are sleeping for days without eating. And Misaka in the must be concerned about the importation of GMO maize or even on behalf of DRC is not only criminal, it is also actually, you know, a clear way through which you are going to be killing the people of Zambia. They are already killing us by their lack of prudence in making sure that there are drugs in our hospitals. They are already killing us through hunger because they recklessly sold out all the stocks of maize that Patriotic Front left in the sheds. Now they want to import GMOs. Misaka in the must be ashamed. Even the the firing of the IG, the firing of permanent secretaries doesn't really make sense. He should have actually fired his Minister of Agriculture. But the fact that we know that the Minister of Agriculture has a pawn, the real culprit in this whole disaster is Mr. Kainde Chirem. That's how come we are joining those who are calling for Mr. Kainde Chirem to resign because the disaster he has caused, particularly in the agriculture sector, and also the lack of food among our people, would only warrant the responsible person, Marquette Sofax. Thank you very much and God bless. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.